The village of Pitlessie bides even to this day, much as it did in 1804 in its ain simple way. A fermentoon encircled by fields of barley, oats and turnips growing in mud so grey. Northwards flows the river Eden so clear, with trout plenty when winter's near, yet spy columns of smoke rising in the sky for the chimneys of the houses grand and high. In the early 19th century, Pitlessie's life, to the seasons, the harvest and kirk bells of fife, folk wouldn't have thought, busy in their way, that they were being observed, watched in every day. As they gaed about their business and chore, e'en as they sat in the kirk praying afore, somebody studied them, their very stance, capturing their quirks in a sketchbook stance. The minister in Kulk's kirk, the Reverend Wilkie, in a wee parish with dreams so biggie, in 1783 he oversaw the grand creation, a new kirk, stately, a source of admiration. Its pulpit framed a sight of great grace, by twa tall windows in a sunlight embrace. As he preached each week, words divinely spun, his congregation bathed in the golden sun. Wilkie's keen eyes scanned the pews each Sunday, spotting his wife Isabella and their bairns in a way. Yet consternation struck his heart so sore when he found his youngest sketching evermore. In secret the lad glanced at the neighbouring folk, sketching their faces, a habit he didn't cloak, Upon the flyleaf of his Bible he did inscribe, O oh, heavens above, this act he couldn't bribe. Young David, a scamp, incorrigible and free, spent his hours sketching in the village, you see. Some grumpy parishioners wouldn't hear him there, shooing him away, but he didn't lose his flair. In the open air studio, he found joy and glee, doodling and learning his art a jubilee. Come May each year the fair did arrive, a pause afore the harvest, alive we a jive. Pitlessie brimming with commerce and cheer, a caravan of noise, a festival so dear. The streets filled with stalls, tents or hue, sellers hawking pots, ales and goods anew. Peddlers, tinkers and bairns filled with delight. Farmers herded cattle, bullocks on the green a sight. And during the May Fair of 1804 you ken, if you weren't careful, you'd stumble on then. Young David Wilkie, a lad of nineteen years, lurking amongst the stalls, ink smudged, showing their fears, struggling to capture the street's operatic flair, his notebooks filled, every page a colourful affair. These sketches, the reference, were oh, a painting grand, would guide David on to reach his artistic land. In years to come, the lad for cults would shine, bringing his community's lives, say humble in line.